Here are the best graphic settings for FC25 on PS5, PS4, Xbox, and PC. If you are coming from older FC or FIFA games, some of your settings will carry on to the new game. The first setting is the contrast. To change that, go to the accessibility settings from here, or you can select the settings icon, again settings, and then accessibility. Here you can change the contrast. This option makes game look more pop or washed out. I recommend value 7. It gives you a nice picture with all the details in both shadows and highlights for both SDR and HDR mode. The second one is brightness. In FC25, thanks to EA, this option affects the exposure, making the whole game brightness higher. It's a personal choice. Value 10 may look a bit over brightened in highlights, but I'm gonna be honest, it still looks fine in SDR and you have so many details. My recommendation is value 4 to 6. Finally, we have graphics mode. But sadly, both of these modes are 60 FPS on PS5. I'm not happy. The enhanced visuals have a dynamic and lower resolution, but instead it has much better lighting and ray traced ambient. In case you're worried, I tested the game for a full match with both mods. On the right side of the screen, you can see the output resolution and frame rate counter in real time from my console. The only part where we had frame drops was intros, pre match, and post match cutscenes, which isn't a problem. But while playing the game even during heavy stuff, the frame rate was stable on 60 and there were no problems on. PS5. The game doesn't use VRR natively on PS5, it's off by default. And you know having it off helps with lower input lag overall, and that's a huge difference. But since the frame rate is stable, you don't need to force VRR either. FC25 movement and response feels much smoother to me. Last night I played a handful of games with my friends till 5am, so I was ready to try FC25 and feel the difference. My first impression was wow, it feels so smooth. I can't be sure if they also reduced the controller input delay because in FC24, the delay was over 90 milliseconds. Soon I'll make a video for the best controller settings. Next video calibration and HDR. If you are on a console, ensure to enable HDR by setting it to always on or on when supported. Then you need to close the game and open it again, otherwise you won't get access to HDR settings. Now go to the settings video calibration and you see that you have four tabs here and the last tab is for HDR. First, if you don't have your PS5 HDR calibrated, all you need to do is to go to this website called ratings.com and then search for your TV model. For example, I searched for LG C2. Click on the TV review, then scroll down on the page to find a section named HDR brightness. Then look for 2% and 10% windows and take an average from that. Mine is around 800 nits. Consider it a bit higher overall. Now you see a picture on the screen that shows how many clicks you need on PS5 to reach different nits. Use that data. In my case, around 800 nits, I go for 14, which is 850. A bit higher is fine. Do this for the first two steps and then for the last step, make it dark. Zero clicks. Now go back to the game settings, first change the brightness and contrast to 5, then go to the video calibration section and switch tabs with L2, R2 to find the HDR section. Lower HDR brightness until you see two squares on the screen. Then slowly and gradually increase this value until both of them blend, meaning until you see both as white. For example, mine blends at around value 11 when recording with my capture card, but I go one value even higher, which is 12. This will give you a correct HDR output in the game and you will not lose details in highlights. Now based on one test I made on HDR, the game looks bright enough with default values mentioned, but as you can see blacks aren't truly black and we don't get that punchy brightness if you are playing with contrast and brightness on 5. Don't get me wrong, if you like it, use it. Now if you go to the settings, game settings, switch tabs with R1 to the accessibility and change contrast here to 7, not only HDR gets closer to 850 nits, my TV output, but in the game we get a closer black level floor to 0 nits, which makes the overall game look better. What about brightness? It affects the overall game brightness and peak brightness together. I don't recommend going too low or the game looks dark, but going so high only causes whites to look a bit too bright. I suggest a value between 5 to 8. I use brightness on 6 and contrast on 7. The sky lights at night and some parts of the game like billboards may always look a bit over brightened in FC25, yet it is worth using HDR if you have a good capable HDR screen. But which one truly looks better? The fact is both 
both look fine. I converted them to SDR color space so you can see the difference between dynamic range and more. But this video is SDR and it fully depends on how it looks on your TV. I would say use the one that looks better to you and your TV. For the TV settings, I recommend HGIG for LG, Contrast Enhancer off for Samsung and Gradation Preferred for Sony TVs. Also consider that you should be able to see and separate all these black and white squares in this page to ensure you are not losing the details but what it says above the screen is not correct do not follow that as a lot of you ask about camera settings every year i play with friends in the club and on the weekends for fun our current camera settings for fc25 are co-op mode custom camera settings height on 14 zoom set to 0 far side focus set to 3 ball track speed set to 0 it feels good to us